Hello, my name is Eamon Nash. I'm an RF Applications Engineer at Analog Devices and I'd like to take you on a short tour of the ADI SIMRF tool. ADI SIMRF is a downloadable RF signal chain calculator which computes cascaded gain, noise figure, third order intercept, 1 dB compression point and total power consumption for signal chains with up to 15 elements. The tool contains an embedded database of approximately 150 devices which can be easily accessed using pull-down menus. So for example, we can use the pull-down menu to select an RF amplifier. Next we go to the part number index to select a specific device. If you are unsure about which device is more suitable, you can go to the selection guides for more information on specific devices. Let's say, for example, we decided we want to use the ADL5320 driver amplifier. We go back to the part number index and select this device. Next, we select the operating frequency for the device. If we type in 1000 MHz, for example, ADI SIMRF will search its internal database for a data point that is at or close to 1000 MHz and we'll load this data into the table. Instead of using stored device data, you can also simply type in device data and even create custom devices which can then be stored for later use. So for example, we could simply create an amplifier by typing in similar data. I'm going to select a frequency of 1000 MHz, an input impedance and output impedance, both of 50 ohms a gain of 20 dBs, an output IP3 of 50 dBms, an output P1 dB of 40 dBms, and a noise figure of 5 dBs. In this way we can build up and simulate a complete signal chain which can be saved and easily distributed. To load a previously created signal chain, we can use the file open signal chain command. This is a 2.1 GHz direct conversion transmitter signal chain which I created earlier. The number of stages can be dynamically adjusted allowing stages to be inserted, we can also remove stages, or we can simply temporarily deactivate a stage. In addition to the classic gain, noise figure, IP3 and P1DB computations, ADI SIMRF also performs a number of other useful calculations. The power in each stage is displayed along with the peak and RMS backoff level from the stage's 1DB compression point. To allow peak signal level to be determined, there is a peak to average ratio input box. So for example, I can set the peak to average ratio in this signal chain to 10.6 dBs. Notice how this causes the peak backoff box for this stage to turn red, indicating that the peak signal level in this stage has come too close to the compression point. The threshold level for this warning can be set in the peak backoff warning box. ADI SIM RF also computes other useful metrics such as IMD, spurious free dynamic range, and signal to noise ratio. To facilitate these calculations, there is an input box where analysis or channel bandwidth can be entered. ADI SIMRF also includes a number of voltage domain calculations, such as output voltage and noise spectral density in nanovolts per root hertz. So this concludes our quick tour of ADI SIMRF. ADI SIMRF can be downloaded and installed on computers using Windows XP, Vista or Windows 7 that have a minimum screen resolution of 1024 by 768.